This um, conference, I'm privileged to speak, will speak about digital analysis in order to enhance the re reproducibility. I will speak about nuclear immunohistological marker of, uh, of breast carcinomas. We know that one of those markers is, is uh, estrogen, progesterone, um, hormone receptor, and the indicator of proliferative activity, K67 index. As we know, uh, Chi-67 and protein Chi-67 is prognostic and predictive by marker in uh, breast carcinomas. It shows the response to therapy, its independent prognostic factor. But uh, according to the guidelines, uh, of uh, EGTM and also according to the guidelines of other professional international national associations, this marker is perceived as insufficiently reproducible and it's uh, perceived uh, with a degree of uh, caution. Uh, so reproducibility is the ability of investigator to obtain same data on the same material with same methods and uh, these materials and these methods by the same token uh, could be obtained from another investigator. Let's see, like two, uh, these are uh, tweaks, candy sticks, same results, different methods. The problem of re reproducibility evolves at pre-analytical, analytical, and post-analytical stage. But at the first two stages, this uh, problem could be resolved. It has got its algorithms at post-analytical stage. Uh, uh, X enter, so to put it, uh, on the first steps are done to use different methods enhancing reproducibility. One of those methods is digital analysis of the image. What do we mean by that? Uh, it's a software which enables us to obtain data from scanned uh, tracers uh, and there are uh, different solutions. Uh, uh, there are commercial software and free of charge and open source software. One of uh, well, the first ones uh, software products is QPath. Uh, the paper was published in 2017 about it then commercially available software bundles like 3D, Gestate, Laker, and others, they have got their own modules for calculations and quantitative, uh, ongoing quantitative data analysis. A number of works shows comparison of software, uh, commercial and uh, open source uh, software. And now works published in 2017 and 18 show that uh, commercial software and free charge uh, open source software are very similar in their characteristics. They provide for comparable data. What do we mean when we're speaking about uh, digital analysis of images in clinical and forensics uh, uh, practice? It's scanned microcopy of tracers, of microdrugs, calculate indicators. It's the index of proliferative activity, CHI-67. Uh, calculate the number of positive cells uh, uh, to all tumor cells. Different methods of calculations are there. Digital analysis enables us to do that across the full scan, uh, entire slice without hotspots. Hotspots are low reproducible method of CHI-76-67 uh, 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 as to the studies of this marker in consonomas of breast carcinomas uh, according to different guidelines. Uh, we calculate the number of those cells and annotations we mark across this slice. Uh, in this slide, it's shown by red positive cells, uh, 
navy blue shows uh, uh, age in uh, hematoxylin uh, staining. They're negative to this marker. Then we get this quantitative ratio. Apart from that, we can elaborate different categories in this uh, tracer. For example, CUPAS enables us to standardize uh, the process and to get the assessment in the uh, tumor, uh, the quantity of the marker. We would like to calculate in stroma, immune cells, uh, crosses, and other ones. Here is the marking of tumor and stroma and artifacts. We can select and calculate. In this category, we can obtain using nor uh, in growth uh, a module uh, which is uh, in this, and we can train this module. Module uh, the proliferative activity in this, uh, since 2018 attempts were made to incorporated into the structural assessment of breast carcinoma as a response to new agent therapy and chemotherapy. In 2011, clinical oncology publication shows comparability between oncotype DX and immunohistomic for like we call for some like we call which is in routine way used for carcin breast carcinoma. Another work of a new one of 2020 shows that this index uh, uh, makes uh, uh, it possible to have another prognostic, extra prognostic category in GC classification of the eighth, uh, eighth uh, review, and it could be used for a specific group of patients which was uh, studied in such a clinical trial as Taylor X. Uh, it's a specific group of patients who had HER2 negative status and positivity in estrogen and progesterone receptors. That is, it's the group which could uh, get advantage from hormone therapy or chemotherapy. And we screened the similar group on clinical morphological parameters, and we computed CHI-67 index and did assessment using digital analysis of estrogen and progesterone receptors. And we have demonstrated the proportional medians for investigators. We can see that the difference of mediator of investigator one, median of investigator one and investigator two is big vis-a-vis -vis the digital method of analyzing images. Apart from that, we used cutoff value for T and 20% of indices of proliferative activity, uh, which are delineating parameters between luminal subtypes of uh, breast uh, carcinoma. We've shown the difference between investigator one and investigator two. It's uh, 1.5 times different in the cutoff uh, value, 14% cutoff value. 20% also demonstrates this difference, but it's slightly less. In the group of the gray zone, which is uh, perceived as the group from 0 to 35% of stained cells. That is uh, CHI-67 biomarker, and it's a low reproducibility. We can see and differences between uh, indicators and investigators, uh, number one and number two. Apart from that, mindful of the new guideline, published in September 2019 to assess estrogen's progesterone in breast, in breast carcinomas. We identified low expression of estrogen and progesterone receptor groups in between 1 to 10 percent. That group was uh, identified uh, because investigators showed that the gains of endocrine therapy in those breast carcinomas are rather dubious. And this group requires further studies. We uh, studied uh, them in our sample. We studied the reproducibility of this indicator in progesterone and estrogen receptors. And we demonstrated that low value of reproducibility ratio exists in the group with one between 1 to 0 uh, to 10 percent. This is the group uh, which is low reproducible between investigators. Slightly better indicators were in the group between 11 to 40 percent. The issues are approaching one. Uh, 
data was also compared versus digital analysis of the image, and we had low reproducibility between digital analysis and pathologists up to 40%. What can we recommend? Uh, when we see such values in visual analysis, when pathologist is evaluating microscopically using light microscope or scanned image. First of all, we should identify gray zone uh, is uh, between 10 to 35 percent, but we can extend it, seeing that it's uh, 0 to 35 percent index of proliferative activity, K67, where by the reproducibility is rather low. This gray zone is most important clinical for the subgroup of early breast cam uh, cancer, uh, T1, T2, T1, and 0. Uh, above the gray zone, this uh, values more these values are more reproducible between the pathologists. Apart from that, the assessment of estrogen and progesterone receptors by the same token is necessary to be used uh, in digital method of uh, analysis of the image if we obtain this data from 1 to 10 percent on visual image analysis. This subgroup is not very uh, large among luminal subtypes, less than and 5% according to different data, so we can use it in routine clinical practice. We can use digital analysis of the image. Thank you very much. That's it.